Hello, in this video I'm going to go over differentiation from first principles, particularly why it works. So, when you learn differentiation from first principles at school, you were probably just shown a formula like this with a bit of explanation as to why it works. Um, and in this video, I want to go over that explanation, hopefully a, a, a quite a bit more clearly, with the help of this Desmos graph I have created. So here I have a func uh, the graph of f of x equals 0 0.25x squared. But this could literally be any graph, uh, any curve. I've just chosen this one because it was about the right shape and size um, to be good for this uh, demo. Then I've got this blue point here, um, A, F of A. And again, A is arbitrary. Um, here I've got it 2.1, but it could really be anything. So what I've then also got is this orange point up here. And that is a distance of h away. So it's a plus h, f of a plus h. So that's the setup. Recall that the gradient of a curve is defined as the, the gradient of the tangent to a curve at that point. So if we want to find the, uh, the gradient at this blue point here, we need to find the gradient of the tangent. Now, this is of course a bit cheating, but just so we get an idea of where we're heading, this is the tangent at that point. And we can see here that it has a gradient of 1.1. So how can we uh, derive this without like using um, the derivative, which I have done here to draw in the tangent? How can we find that derivative? Well, if we draw a line connecting this blue point and this orange point, we get the chord between these two points. And if I zoom in a bit, watch what happens if I, as I make h smaller and smaller and smaller making the orange point go closer and closer and closer to this blue point. The gradient into the purple line, the chord, is changing. And you can see it is getting closer and closer and closer to our tangent, the green line. So when they overlap at h equals zero, so when these are the same points, well, it looks like it's going to be the same. But if we look at how we're calculating the gradient for this, so as always, changing y over changing x, You'll notice that these on the bottom, the denominator, these uh, a's cancel out, giving your familiar denominator for differentiation from first principles. And we're just dividing by h. So when h is 0, this whole thing collapses. Division by 0. Oh no, we can't do that. But as you get closer and closer, you will see that this purple tangent line is getting closer and closer and closer and closer. And down here, this gradient is getting closer and closer and closer and closer. So what if we could evaluate this when h equals uh, 0? Well, we can't quite do that, but we can do something very similar, taking the limit. And uh, that's finding where this uh, expression here is heading as h gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So that's kind of why uh, differentiation from first principles works. Um, and yeah, here I've picked uh, this function and this value of a. But again, this works for any value of a on pretty much any... Uh, curve, particularly any curve, most curves you will have seen so far in A-level at least. Okay, thank you for watching.